Well, talking traffic leads us right into our first hot topic of the morning, road trips. And they seem more popular these days with less people flying on today's hot topic panel. We've got King Five's Tony Black along with Seattle podcaster Carla Marie and, and Anthony who are in the middle of an epic road trip themselves right now. Well, we're actually in New Jersey right now. I'd say we're yeah. in the middle of our road trip because we are coming oh. back to Seattle. So we uh, did a bunch of cities and states along the way. Obviously, we're super careful and we had the time. So we're like, let's take three weeks to drive across the country. So the time right now helps also. Yeah. But yeah, we wanted to do that instead of flying. And I will say this. I know that um, we've traveled across the country, Carla Marie and I, oftentimes, like we on road trips and whatnot, mm -hmm. and seeing the rest areas and how crowded they've been this summer really shows that people are hitting the road. Yeah. And I will say every state that we stopped in with the exception of Iowa, shame on you, Iowa, um, <laughs> has been really good about social distancing yeah. and wearing masks and things like that. So it has been comforting in that way. Well, that's good. How long has it, did it take you to get from Washington to uh, New Jersey? Was it six days? Oh, about a week, yeah. Yeah. Okay, but leisurely, so that's nice. Tony Black, um, do you take road trips at all? <laughs> uh, I used to take a road trip all the time from Seattle to Pullman to go to Washington. That's like a four-hour drive. Oh, okay. so I'm usually pretty good on road trips. I'm like, Ada, <laughs> I think if I could fly, I would do it. But I know, given this current time that we're in, this yeah. is really kind of the best way to get out. I know a lot of people are even going to just Ocean Shores or mm -hmm. the east side or options like that. But um, I have not gone on any major road trips. I would say probably the biggest road trip I've taken is just trying to get to West Seattle. Um, <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Tony, we should have brought you with us on our way to New Jersey. Yeah. Okay, really quickly before I move on to the next topic, your favorite road trip snack. Growing up, mine was either pork rinds or um, boiled peanuts. Ooh. <laughs> I'm going to think... have to go with sunflower seeds for mine. It's Ooh. just like an activity. You know, I just can do it the whole time, basically. <laughs> I think mine are Cheez-Its. Ooh. 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 Yeah. I like Cheez-Its. I like that. But I'm going <laughs> to go with uh, sour gummy worms because I'm Ooh. a little bit And I will eat those until the day I die. So. <laughs> okay. That's a great those choice. Those all Good. sound delicious. Let's talk about race and sports. A lot of sports have been canceling their games. What do you guys think about that? We'll start with uh, you, Carla Marie. So it's crazy because you always see athletes being told to just shut up and play, just do this just do that. I think what they're doing right now is the best thing ever because they're saying, you know what? You won't let us kneel. You won't let us do anything. We're going to walk off the field, off the court. <laughs> yeah. Now what? Something's got to give. And I know Anthony was actually explaining to me some things that have changed because of this about um, a lot of the NFL, uh, sorry, NBA owners are saying you can use our arenas for voting now. And Anthony was telling me that because he is obviously loves all the sports and was explaining all of this to me. And I, was <laughs> I like, do. That's and I do. Amazing. And I love what the NBA has done specifically because yeah. the NBA has kind of led the charge with everything. Um, after mm -hmm. the shooting in uh, south of Milwaukee, um, the Bucks were the first team to say, you know, we're not taking the court. Orlando then walked off the court and all the other teams kind of fell in line. And I think what's great is not only is it great for race relations mm -hmm. and what the movement is trying to get to, but it's also great in just workers' rights and saying, you know what, you can't actually do anything if we don't show up to work. And I think that right. hopefully will be a cultural shift for people inside and outside of sports to say, we actually have a lot of power to make change. Tony, I know you're really big into sports, so what's your thought on this? Yeah, no, I, I, I agree with both of what they've been saying. I also kind of think, too, like, you know, we had kind of fallen back into, like, just not, you know, kind of losing focus of what we were supposed yep. to be talking about. It said Black Lives Matter on the court, but we weren't really talking about that. Mm -hmm. We were talking about game winners and who's going to win the championship, and it's understandable given that circumstance, and I think that when that shooting happened, it's like, wait a minute, like, like we have, this is a different time in the sense that we have people's attention and it's like in a way that it hasn't happened before. You know, before it was like, here's a diversity group or a diversity meeting and then things just kind of fall by the wayside. Now we're in a position where we have the attention of all these businesses that are putting out their, their Black Lives Matter on their video games or on their, on their websites or whatever that they're doing. So it's like, we're not going to let this just kind of no. fall by the wayside. And I think by the players, saying, no, we are not going to shut up and dribble. We are not going to be your entertainment while, you know, police are still out there gunning down black men and still doing these things. Like, we're not going to do that. We need to make these changes. We know it needs to happen, and we want to do that work. So, like, kudos to the NBA for doing it. Kudos to the other leagues for following suit. Uh, not so much kudos to the NHL because they kind of dragged their feet on that, and yeah. they finally stepped up a couple days later. But, you know, that – 
in nasty, you know, that some leagues have far, far to go, but the NBA is leading the charge on that, and I commend the players for, for everything that they did. And I think they're, they're also, using their platform, yeah. yeah. There's a good point to be made that I think, and you can fact check me on this, it might have been four years to the day that Kaepernick actually sat down and made yeah. his protest. Oh, wow. so I think it was four years to the yeah. day. Yep. So we still have a lot of work to do, obviously. Mm -hmm. I think people are finally starting to listen, though, a little bit more, which is a good so. thing. So, okay, we've got a lot more to talk about, you guys. So stick around because you don't want to miss the conversation about eyebrow wigs. We'll be right back. <laughs>